Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, reporting in now from day 10 uh, of the expedition. So a bit of a milestone day, uh, going into double figures. Uh, and it was really satisfying uh, this evening once I've finished skiing to uh, take out um, my food for this evening and roll up a, uh, a 10-day food bag. Uh, and shove that into the back of the pulp, and that's just, you know, yeah, nice to know that, you know, that sort of, you know, 12 kilograms sort of lighter. Um, so, yeah, great to uh, have that. Um, as I suspected, uh, today, another heavy Suskogee day. It was uh, pretty epic and probably slightly worse in places than, uh, than yesterday. Um, and I guess it's just, you know, getting to these areas, which is really going to last a few days, so I kind of knew that was coming. Um, but on the plus side, the, the weather was good, very light winds today. Um, they backed right off, which was, uh, which was nice. Um, and with a lower temperature, I think overnight, the surface in between the Sistrigi was a bit firmer, so actually the cold can actually move a little bit better. Um, and for my 10 hours of uh, hard soil, uh, I managed 13.3 multiple miles today, so an extra 3 miles on top of yesterday. So uh, really pleased with that. Um, <clears throat> just, uh, I've taken to uh, almost becoming a, a bit of a hamster, uh, I've noticed with the, uh, the food. As I'm skiing during the day, I have a thing uh, called a grazing bag, which has got chocolate and nuts and other bits, and it's also got in there uh, 200 grams of cheese and salami, uh, which I have each day, uh, which I can sort of eat while I'm sort of, you know, once I stop for a break. Uh, about every hour and a half, I'm stopping briefly, quick drink, and uh, grab a mouth for a frozen bag. The salami is all right, of course, it's a bit of a deep frozen. Um, and the salami, because it's thin slices, you know, it melts quite quick in your mouth, and you, know, you can eat that quite fast. Um, but the cheese, it, uh, even though it's cut into cubes, is like absolutely rock solid. Uh, so what I'll have to be doing with the cheese is I, uh, I basically cram about five bits of rock solid cheese and pack it into my cheeks uh, and then just hold it there and basically set off skiing uh, and give it a sort of couple of minutes um, and basically warm them up and soften them enough uh, in my mouth so, you know, so I can then start chewing on them like you know, so that's the, uh, quite nice that ski you know, to be skiing along and still uh, eating cheese for a few minutes after you set off which is great um, right uh, and finally just to finish off uh, well, in fact, uh, one quick thing. Um, being along today and noticed something moving, which is really unusual out here. That's, you know, when there's no wind, um, or very little wind anyway, you can you get moving in your spin drift. Um, but I spotted something uh, up ahead, um, sort of move, and then disappear again down a bit of a sleuthy. And I thought, you know, really odd. Initially, I thought maybe a bird, but not this farm. And, and there's no wildlife at all or anything out here. Uh, and it was right in the distance, and I skied again, and then sort of moved again uh, across, and I sort of changed my direction slightly to head towards it. And uh, yeah, got a bit of a surprise when I got there. But I'll uh, I'll reveal what it was in uh, tomorrow night's blog to be continued. And I'd just like to dedicate this evening's uh, blog um, to my neighbour uh, and good friend Keith Jones, who sadly uh, lost his life to cancer. Um, only a few months before the expedition. I'd just like to dedicate this blog um, to you, Keith. Uh, there's a few stuff. What are you looking for? And that's all for tonight. Good night, Thomas.